First of all, I would like to apologize for how difficult it has been for you to be able to get through to any one of our offices at any time over the last six months. I know it's been frustrating for many of you. You've wanted to get an appointment. You can't get somebody on the phone. Maybe you can't get a prescription refilled. We have gone through a massive electronic transition with multiple, multiple systems all being upgraded. And you know what? There's been times when it just ain't pretty. I want to just publicly apologize for what you've had to go through to get a hold of us. I know this hasn't affected everybody, but it has affected a fair number of you. If you've ever been through these kind of transitions, there's always things that you just didn't see coming. So we're working on them and we're hoping to have most of those kinks worked out. We're bringing in a lot more resources to help fix the things that still need to be fixed bringing in a call center that will add more people answering the phones because we have more calls now than we've ever had thousands and thousands and thousands of calls a day it's a blessing i feel really fortunate that our healthcare is getting out to more people but we're trying to get our systems to keep up with it why is growth important i think that's probably an important question to ask at this point and i'm probably the person to blame for that I have a personal mission to get this kind of healthcare in the hands of more and more people. I want to be able to spread the word that there's more ways to take care of your health problems than just a quick office visit and another prescription. I want you guys to have options and I want your friends and family in other cities to have options. That means that we have to grow and we have to get into other cities, into other markets so that we can get our healthcare out there to other people. Is that always a smooth process growth? No, it often isn't a smooth process, but we're working and we're dedicated to try to make it as graceful as possible. And I know that it won't always be that way, but I want you to know it's my personal mission to make sure that this healthcare does get into the hands of more people. If I had it my way, I'd like it to be a national healthcare plan. I'd like everybody in the United States to have the ability to come into an office with a list of problems or ailments and say, what can I do with these problems? And have somebody look them in the face and say, let's get to the bottom of this. Let's find out what's happening and get a plan put together to get you off this sick path. Get you onto a health path so that you can live longer with less age-related illnesses. That's my personal mission and that's the mission of our whole company. And that's why we think it's important to grow, but we just want to try to do it a little bit more gracefully going forward. So thank you for being patient with us. We really appreciate it.